Hi, it's JP again. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time to move further and dive into the robot's hardware. Off we go. This is a six axis robot, meaning it has six different motors. The first three motors, one of which is hidden away in the base, are stepper motors. There are two large servo motors that are DXL 430s, and the smaller servo motor is a DXL 330. The three stepper motors have a hold torque of 65 newton centimeters. The two large servo motors have a stall torque of 140 newton centimeters, and the smaller servo motor has a stall torque of 65 newton centimeters. The stepper motors have their own control cards, which we've made, whereas the servo motors have integrated control cards. Let me show you through Nectu's electrical interface. So, the heart of the robot is found in the base, and it's made up of a Raspberry Pi, on top of which you'll find a shield card. It's the shield card that provides the power from the power supply to the different motors and the end effector. At the back of the robot, you'll find the four USB ports from the Raspberry Pi, as well as its Ethernet port. You'll also find the power plug, the on-off button, and the Wi-Fi configuration button. Finally, there's a set of I.O. pins which allow you to plug in either Nereo made accessories or your own accessories. These pins allow support for both analog and digital signals. The external power supply can be plugged into both 110 and 220 volts and provides power with 12 volts and 5 volts to the robot. And don't worry, thanks to the universal power adapter, you can plug in your robot anywhere around the world. So, what do you think? Now that Nectu's hardware has no secrets left to you, get ready for a thorough exploration of what we've cooked for you in terms of software.